There is a time in my life when I would have thrown this away. I would have looked at this ham bone left over from a spiral sliced ham and I would have seen that there was still meat on it but not really known how to best use that. I love this recipe for ham beans because it uses every last bit of goodness that this ham bone has to offer. Start by rinsing and sorting one pound of pinto beans. It used to be that you would occasionally find small rocks mixed in with dried beans, but I think the sorting process has gotten better, so you rarely see those anymore. If you want to pre-soak your beans, the cooking will go faster, but it's not necessary. Add your ham bone to a five or a six quart Dutch oven, then add in the beans. I'm also going to add this jar of juices that were left over in the pan after I cooked my ham. I will even add in the layer of fat on the top. That will really add positively to the mouthfeel of this type of a dish. Next I'll slice an onion into small dices. If you want a printable copy of this recipe, make sure and check out the link in the description to my blog, wanderingstarfarmhouse.com. And I'll mince a clove of garlic. Add those on top of the pot and then fill the pot with water to cover the beans. My husband really likes things spicy so if you're like him you can add a diced jalapeno at this point. I want to make sure all my beans are underwater so they can get cooking. Then I'm going to set the Dutch oven on a medium heat. Cover it with the lid and leave it. I'll come back and check on the pot periodically and make sure that the beans are still covered with water. With a Dutch oven this size, I may need to add water once or twice while the beans are cooking. After a few hours, all the little ham pieces have cooked and separated from the hand bone. So at this point, you can take out those pieces of ham and chop them. Also remove the ham bone at this point. I like to chop this ham nice and small so that when I mix it in, there's bits of ham all through the beans. This is such a meaty and savory dish, it's delicious. We'll eat it as a main dish with some homemade cornbread on the side. If you want to see how I use cast iron on my ceramic glass cooktop without harming it, watch this video.